Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile Tester Certification. In this tutorial, we are continuing ahead with the uh, session on the chapter 3. and uh, We are looking at the next topic on this one is 3.1.3, the test quadrants and the test levels with testing types. So here it will be a quick extension on the previous topic that is the test pyramid and we will try to understand what kind of quadrants do we really have and how does it really help us to understand what exactly the quadrants are and also we will try to understand the several levels and the types as well. When generally when you talk about the quadrant model here it is generally divided into four different quadrants where we try to conduct different levels of testing and it might be having a certain phases which can be installed uh, involved in the same where generally it is an involvement of everyone together which is uh, we always talk about the whole team approach in the agile testing methodology on the other side the quadrants can be either business or technology facing where business it comes from the product specific or it can be from the point of uh, user perspective where users are interested to have certain qualities in the product and the technology would be from the developer point of view to enhance the existing technology part of the product internally when you test it. So this can be done either uh, manually or automatically with help of tools and generally we know from the previous tutorial that uh, the testing uh, pyramid says that we do a lot of automation compared to manual and we start with a lot of unit tests in the beginning. So let's quickly look at the four quadrants what we have here. The very first quadrant is about unit level and this is technology facing where generally the unit tests are being performed in terms of the continuous integration process and we validate the basic functionalities of the product which we are making and of course it will be done by the developers. Q2 is a system level testing where it is business facing and it confirms the product behavior in terms of uh, generally the test cases will be derived from the user stories and understanding the user experience prototypes or simulation will be the approach to conduct the same and uh, altogether the test cases will be to meet the acceptance criteria of the product and can be performed manually or automatically so the main parent testing would be happening here in quadrant 2 where your product will be generally accepted in terms of meeting the acceptance criteria and the definition of done will be accomplished when you talk about the Q3, quadrant 3 is system or user acceptance level which will be continuation of the quadrant 2 in terms of uh, system uh, level as well as the acceptance level in terms of conducting extension of the acceptance uh, level of testing like alpha testing, beta testing and so on which would be involved again in terms of business facing which will be specific to the product criteria and making sure the product meets the user expectations at this point of time. Coming to the quadrant 4 being the last quadrant of the cycle and we generally talk about system or operational acceptance level. So the previous one was the user acceptance level but this one is operational acceptance level where generally it is technology facing which is uh, beyond the system level when you talk about the non-functional quality characteristics will be validated here. So your, all other non-functional testing which you want to do and you know it from the foundation level already that it is scalability, load testing, stress testing, usability, maintainability and all other non-functional parameters will be validated during the Q4. Where Q4 is generally done at the last to deploy the tool on the environment and then have a look on how exactly does it behave in the real time environment and will it be able to meet the characteristics as well as the need of the customer at this point of time or not. So. This is what we have got in this particular tutorial and should you be looking for anything else stay tuned on this channel we'll be coming up with some more content of this chapter so uh, that will tell you more about the agile testing and the certification program. So should you have any further queries or doubts or clarification please feel free to comment below I would be responding to your queries there. Stay tuned for upcoming tutorial on this till then keep learning keep exploring and understanding the content and uh, thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.